Welcome back to Gator's Corner. I'm the Gator. Today, we're talking about the new television show, Minority Report. So I'm going to give you guys the quick imdb.com, uh, basically the summary of the show that they have listed on their page. Uh, it says, Ten years after the end of pre-crime in Washington, D.C., one of the precogs attempts to lead a normal life, while still suffering from visions of the future. Will they be able to hold it together or mentally break down and give up? Oh, God, where to start with this show? Oh, man. Okay, so I guess we start with the main character. Uh, her name is Vega, or as I've so kindly nicknamed her, Boobs. Uh, now, the reason I've nicknamed her Boobs is basically because uh, that's all the show really wants us to notice about her. I mean, every five seconds, you just see Boobs. Um, she, one time, she has a shirt. And, I mean, it's just a regular shirt or whatever. And it buttons collar like this. As tight as mine is, as high as mine is. And then underneath that, just a big old slit like this. Like, what the hell is that? I don't even know what the hell that is. Is that even a shirt? I don't know. I mean, what the fuck is this shit? Secondly, she's a horrible cop. I mean, she seems completely okay with breaking the law, ignoring her superiors, and basically doing whatever the fuck she wants. I mean, in the first episode alone, she helps cover up a murder. And then you have Dash. Oh, Jesus Christ, this guy. Uh, there are three precogs. Pre precogs. That'd be cooler. But there are three precogs. And he just happens to be the weakest of them all. And uh, the only one also wanting to save people. And the weirdest part is when he gets his visions. Now, when his counterparts get the visions, oh, no big deal. But for some reason, when he gets his visions, it, he has to go in this whole thing where it looks like he has to take a massive shit every time. I mean, it's something like, he just all of a sudden he starts getting it and he's like... <clears throat> and it's like, what the hell, dude? Like, what, what? how come no one else is shitting their pants when they get a vision? It's just you, buddy. Get your shit together, bro. Come on, Dash. You're better than this. And then you have Fez from that 70s show. Uh, I'm sure you all remember Fez as that likable goofball from the show. Uh, not on this show. On this show, apparently, he's a complete asshole. Uh, when casting this character, I have no idea what they were thinking. I mean, let's see. Uh, the character will be a boss man to the main characters. And he's going to be a complete asshole. I mean, wh what made them think Fez was going to be the idea for that? I mean, that's just awful. I mean, he's a funny guy. You know? He shouldn't be doing roles like this. Basically, it's just another cop drama. I mean, I had a lot of high hopes going into this because I really liked the movie. Uh, but one of the great things about the movies is it made you think. There was a lot of mystery, a lot of thriller. And that's what the show was lacking. I mean, it's just going to be that same procedural cop drama that you're getting everywhere else with CSI or SUV or SVU or Call of Duty or Call of whatever criminal intent. All these fucking shows out there, whatever you want to call them, it's just the same bullshit over and over and over again. And I kind of knew this was going to go that way, but I thought maybe it could be more of like a fringe type thing. Like, yeah, they're doing the procedural shit, but it all leads up to something. Or, you know, kind of like Alias did, if you watch that. At first, it seemed like it was going to be procedural. So maybe something ends up developing, but these characters need to change. I don't think the actors are necessarily bad. I think it's just the writing, and yeah, you should fix that. And the directing. You don't need to be staring at some girl's boobs the entire time. So thank you guys for watching Gator's Corner. Hope you had a good time. Uh, let me know what you think about Minority Report if you've watched it. Tell me if you think I'm an idiot and I'm off base. I know you guys won't uh, hesitate to do that. So until next time, as always, I've been Gator, and you've been great. Peace! Hey, guys. Let's go. We're heading, we'll get it on as we go. Going to the dungeon. I can't see, I gotta turn this around. You guys coming? We're waiting on Poon. Is Poon coming? Poon, you coming? I got this. Just in case she gets crazy. Light behind you? Yeah, the light. There's 
by the way, is right here. Oh. What the hell? Those are some shower curtains hanging back here, guys. You see that hole right there towards the top? Look in there. 